What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the large breakout board for the Atomic Pi from Digital Loggers. This is not 100% necessary to get your Atomic Pi up and running, but it's going to make life a lot easier. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the Atomic Pi, I have created several videos on it. But basically, we have a small, inexpensive x86 powered single board computer. The CPU is an Intel X5Z8350. We got 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. Now, like I said, you don't necessarily need this breakout board. You can power the Atomic Pi from the GPIO pins because we don't have a barrel jack on this single board computer. Now, this is their large breakout board. They also offer a smaller one that'll give you power input from a Molex or screw type connectors. But the larger board does add more features. Originally, the Atomic Pi was selling for $39.99. It was a $40 single board computer and well worth the price. Ever since the popularity of this board has risen, they did raise the price to $48 and you no longer get free prime shipping on Amazon. I absolutely hate it when companies do this. Installation of the Atomic Pi is very easy. You're just going to line up the GPIO pins and put in the four included screws. I just don't have the screws in this video. One of the best things about the breakout board is the power in. We have these screw type terminals. We can use 12 volts or 5 volts. Plus, we have a Molex connector if you want to do anything from an ATX power supply. It's really easy to power the board this way. We don't have to fiddle around with the GPIO pins to power it on the bottom of the Atomic Pi. Plus, we get an extra USB 2.0 port. Plus, the board has a built-in audio DAC. It uses XMOS, and we have dual speakers out here, so you can just run two speakers to the board itself. This would be great for an arcade cabinet. Now, this uses an XMOS driver, or XMOS, however you want to pronounce it, so you will have to install that. But the operating system that Digital Loggers provides on their website does have it already built in. It's just a modified version of Lubuntu. On the rear of the board, we have this prototype area, so you can mess around with LED arrays or motor controllers. Plus, everything that's really important on this board is clearly labeled. It also has a breakout spot, so we could solder in an Arduino Nano if you really want it. You could solder it in right here and use it in conjunction with the operating system that you have installed on the board itself. Rubber feet are pre-installed from the factory to raise it up a little bit and keep it from sliding around on the table. After receiving the breakout board, I actually thought about throwing this in one of my arcade cabinets. The Atomic Pi actually runs MAME really well. Now, there are some 3D games that this little chip just doesn't handle well, but if you want to do Killer Instinct 2 and all the cave games, it works fine for that. And now with this board, we have easy power in and dual audio out, so I could just jack right into the speakers instead of using HDMI or some kind of converter. So as for the power input, you could always just splice in your 5 volt or 12 volt power supply. But I happen to have one of these female barrel jacks that I'm going to be using. It's a 2.5 millimeter barrel jack, so I don't have to snip off the ends of any of my power supplies. I have tested 12 volts and 5 volts. I just run it on a 5 volt 4 amp power supply plugged right into this little barrel jack here. Like I mentioned, everything's clearly marked. Over on the right hand side we have 5 volt, and the middle is ground, and on the left side is 12 volts. You can use either or on this unit. Throwing this thing together is really simple. Basically, we're just going to line up these GPIO pins over here, make sure all the wires are out of the way, snug it down, plug in our five wires, and then use the four included screws to hold it down to the breakout board. Unfortunately, as soon as I took this thing out of the box, I misplaced the screws that came with it. They're just four basic standoff screws, so I do have some laying around, but it does come with them in the end. So overall, it's a nice little breakout board for the Atomic Pi. It's not a must-have, but it does add some extra features like that extra USB 2.0, easy power in, speakers out, and a few others like the Arduino add-on or the prototyping section if you're into that kind of stuff. So I'm probably going to end up installing this in one of my arcade 1UP machines. Like I said, this thing runs MAME really well. I'm just trying to figure out which front end I'm going to use in Linux. It'll probably go with the track mode, but RetroPie also runs on here. By the way, I have created a video showing that running on the Atomic Pi. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I'm going to leave links to Amazon, eBay, and the Digital Loggers website so you can pick up an Atomic Pi and or the breakout board. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.